Hello friends and welcome to today's episode. It was a hot and sticky summer afternoon when Ginger Maxwell, a school bus driver in Oklahoma, started her shift. She was used to the heat and the chaos that came with transporting kids to and from school, but today felt different. The air was heavy and the kids seemed extra rambunctious, their energy bouncing off the walls of the bus like ping pong balls. Despite the chaos, Ginger remained focused and alert, always keeping safety as a top priority. She was well trained in first aid and had a calm and collected demeanor, qualities that would come in handy later on in the day. As the bus made its way through the winding suburban streets, Ginger called out to a little boy in the back who was standing up and causing a commotion. Please take your seat, young man, she said firmly but kindly. It's not safe to stand while the bus is moving. The boy, a five-year-old named Timmy, reluctantly sat down but continued to fidget and squirm. Ginger kept an eye on him, noticing that he seemed agitated and distressed. She was about to ask if everything was okay when Timmy's sister, who was sitting next to him, let out a blood-curdling scream. He's choking, he's choking on a penny, she shouted, her eyes wide with fear. Ginger's heart skipped a beat as she immediately pulled the bus over to the side of the road. She rushed to Timmy's side and saw that he was indeed choking, his face turning red as he struggled to breathe. Without hesitation, Ginger performed the Heimlich maneuver, a technique she had learned in her first aid training. She wrapped her arms around Timmy's waist and gave a sharp upward thrust, hoping to dislodge the penny from his throat. To her relief, the penny popped out almost immediately and Timmy let out a loud cough as he breathed in fresh air. Ginger held him tightly, tears of gratitude and relief streaming down her face. She had done it. She had saved Timmy's life. The other kids on the bus burst into applause and cheers, relieved that their classmate was okay. Ginger smiled through her tears and hugged Timmy tightly, grateful for the opportunity to help and make a difference. She knew that her training and quick thinking had been the key to saving Timmy's life and she was grateful to have had the knowledge and skills to help in such a crucial moment. As the bus pulled back onto the road and continued on its journey home, Ginger couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. She had done her job and done it well, keeping the kids safe and bringing them home to their families. It was a moment she would never forget and one that reminded her of the importance of being prepared and always being ready to help others in need. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time for more amazing stories.